Alright, hey guys, it's Kristen with Decidedly Equestrian. Um, we are going to review the Roughland Kennel for Decidedly Canine Column. Um, and I wanted to do a video just because it's a little bit easier to show um, how this kennel operates and how the fit is with Holly. Um, Holly is a 58 pound Australian Shepherd. Um, <laughs> she's gonna go in now. Um, she's used to being in a kennel and we do have her in a lot larger kennel for when we're gone. Um, all day at work, but for a travel kennel, um, you kind of want it to be a little more compact. So it actually works okay for her. Um, it's a little on the small side, like for long trips, I probably wouldn't put her in here. Um, Dixie, our smaller dog, fits much nicer. Um, but I'm going to show you with Holly because that's who we got it for. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys how she gets in and out. Um, she does pretty good with the kennel up. Come in. Holly, come. Kennel up. She has more than enough room to walk in and turn around. Girl. Okay, come. Good job. Um, and I will say, um, honestly, one of my favorite things about this kennel is the dual doors. So they can enter from the front or the side. Um, so especially if you're putting this kennel in a vehicle or if you're putting it in um, a certain place in your home where it works better one way or the other, it's definitely an option. Um, Holly is a little more apt to go in it from the side. I think it's just because it feels like she has more room to turn around. Uh, but I'll show you how she did it. Holly, come on. 